Ever wonder why some nuclear sites are buried deep underground? Because reaching them isn't just hard, it's nearly impossible. That's not by chance, it's by design. Facilities like Iran's Fordo are buried beneath layers of rock and concrete, sometimes under entire mountains. Why? To shield them from the air. To make them invisible to satellites, and to resist the very weapons meant to destroy them. Standard bombs explode on impact, but bunker busters, they're engineered to penetrate first. Using reinforced casings, kinetic energy, and sometimes even delayed fuses, these weapons bore deep before detonating. But even then, depth wins. The deeper the target, the more force required. And the higher the risk of failure. That's why Fordo survived where Natanz didn't. It's not just location, it's protection. Strategic burial transforms geography into armor, and hitting those sites is like trying to remove a threat sealed in a concrete basement louder, longer, riskier. So next time you hear about underground nuclear facilities, remember, they're not hidden out of fear. They're shielded by science. Because in the calculus of power, the depth of a bunker can mean the difference between deterrence and disaster.